This is Professor Hildebrandt with another example um, regarding changes in real GDP demanded. Um, if you've not already watched the illustration from chapter 910, I'm going to go, I went into more detail on that one, so watch that video first and then watch this one. So in this one, what we're specifically going to look at here um, are how a change in government spending, okay, will cause real GDP demanded to either increase or decrease. Um, it's going to be basically identical to the impact of a change in investment spending. Um, so that's why I'm suggesting you to watch the Chapter 910 video first. So in this example, uh, the government's going to decide to increase their spending by $400 billion. And then you're also told that if disposable income increases by $1,600, this causes savings to increase by $400. And so then the question is asking us to find by how much does real GDP demanded increase? So what is, here we're basically trying to find delta Y, okay, the change in real GDP demanded. So um, you should know based on that other video that we find the change in real GDP demanded by taking some change in spending, again in my last example it was investment spending, and multiplying this times our simple spending multiplier, okay? Um, and so far we know the change in spending, so we know that the government is going to increase their spending by $400 billion. What we don't yet know is our simple spending multiplier. Okay, so again, how do we get to the simple spending multiplier? Well, the SSM is 1 over the MPS. Okay, well, did I give you the MPS? So, oh, geez, no, I didn't. But I gave you the information to calculate it because the NPS is the change in savings over the change in disposable income. Okay, so we're going to plug those numbers in. So we had a change in savings of $400 and we had a change in disposable income of $1,600. And so we find once we get rid of some zeros, four goes into itself one time, four into 16, four times. So our NPS here is one-fourth. So one-fourth of all new income um, is saved instead of spent. Now I can take this and plug it in up here. So I have one over one-fourth will be my multiplier. So again, this becomes one times four over one, or I have a multiplier of four, which then gets put in. So again, we're working backwards, gets put in right here, value of four. And so if government spending um, increases by $400 billion, and my multiplier is 4, okay, then my change in real GDP demanded is going to be $400 billion times 4, I'm just going to write it out, at $1,600 billion. And so that is our final answer.